We've all heard of climate change. Kind of, I like climate change. What can we do about it? And also, why does it happen? For many different reasons. For example, cows, cars, coal. Carbon dioxide and methane gases get released into the atmosphere, which stops heat going out of the atmosphere. It's pretty confusing. But that means when the sun goes in, it can't go out. Eating up our planet like a greenhouse. That's why it's called greenhouse gas. Now, a big factor of this is surprisingly cows. You wouldn't think so. The cows cause 10% of the climate change effect by humans. Why? Because of cow burps and farts. Okay, hear me out. It sounds stupid. But they release a lot of methane into the environment. So, if everyone's vegetarian, then we won't have this problem. If you like winter, go vegetarian. Sounds weird, I know. Nowadays, lots of uh, restaurants and shops are selling vegan and vegetarian products. For example, vegan meatballs. I, I think I have some, hang on. Okay, we don't have any, but that's not that bad because my sister keeps eating them and likes them, so good alternative. This, I hope this shows you how important it is to go vegetarian. I'm not vegetarian. I'd like to be vegetarian. But it's, it's difficult to change. If you force yourself to do it, like stop eating chocolate for a month, then you can be vegetarian. Or you could try Meat, meat Free Monday. That impacts a lot to climate change. Another massive problem is vehicles. Not as big as cars, actually. But still, we should be getting hybrid and uh, even better electric cars on our roads sooner. Europe, um, UK is saying they're banning uh, diesel petrol cars by 2030. But it's only 2023, we need to go faster than that. Seven years of millions of diesel and petrol cars. Cars? Cars. No wonder the world's getting hotter. Stupid. So there's a few alternatives now my family like electric cars so we wanted to help the environment by getting some so we've got one there and one there and that really helps because they don't emit anything because they're just electric now, I know electricity bills might be high in your country, but it really is a good alternative. I mean, come on, be realistic. But electric cars are also getting cheaper, so they're better for the common person. Tesla just announced they're making a new car in two or three years. It's only $25,000. Sounds like a lot if you're a child. Not for a car. Not for a car. Did you know that since World War II, England's lost 97% of its wildflower meadows? That's a problem, because bees love them. And bees are the reason this earth exists in plant terms. So I've planted a few wildflower seeds myself. They haven't been thinned yet. If you're a gardener, you know what that means. or marshes called peat bogs and basically they're kind of a spongy soil which naturally over time it traps carbon dioxide and it's much more effective than trees only problem is you can't make them because you're a human and you're not mother nature and also they're really rare 
So there's some in Scotland. I think Russia has some. But they're much more effective than trees. But we can't do anything about them. Right, now on the interesting bit. What can you do to help? Here I've made a list of things. Let's, let's talk about some of them that we've already discussed in more detail. Go, go vegetarian. So, as I was saying, you could do meatless Monday, which is good because it cuts down a seventh of the world's um, meat. So that that 10% of um, all climate change from cow burps only goes down to like 8.5%, which is good. Good. Good start. One and a half percent lost because people don't eat meat on a Monday. It's random. Now, these changes are now for more if you're an adult. You could uh, consider going electric in your cars. It's, they're expensive, but a survey was done um, that shows over five years it's twice as sh cheap to run an electric car than a petrol or diesel car, which is very interesting and useful if you're considering getting a car. Hopefully that convinces you. Also, I have to tell you, I've been doing a, a survey recently about what cafe, what cafes are using. Are they using plastic, uh, reusable plastic, metal for their items, or cardboard maybe? And I've found that no cafe I found in town, I'm not going to show you what the town is, but in my town, in somewhere in the UK, they, no, none of them, none of the cafes did reusable coffee lids, which made me very angry because think about how many coffees a ca one cafe does a day. Think how many cafes there are in the world. Remember, one lid kills anything. A turtle? A bird? It goes in the ocean? It's so bad. And then humans eat the fish and birds and stuff. So we get infected with plastic that we put in the animals in the first place. There are two things you can do about it. One, don't drink coffee dangerous anyway. And two, buy reusable lids if you own a cafe. They're a bit more expensive. Did I say reusable? I meant recyclable. Apologies. Reusable. I'm not sure anyone's going to give back the coffee lids. I have designated recycling places. I um, plant more flowers, especially wildflowers because it does a big difference to bees. Once those flowers over there grow, then tickety-boo, everything will be going crazy. The bees will like it, love it. Like that echium over there. Or the forget-me-nots, or the lavender. That magnolia tree's been quite well for a couple of years. These um, creeper jasmine Okay, so. so there's lots of things you can do to help the world. Put pressure on big companies to do better things like plant trees, um, do single use plastic, make a ban for single use plastic in your country. Go on, you can do it. Put it in the news. It's fun. And you're making the world nice and cool for humans. Not too hot, the forest will burn. We'll have to live in Mar live on Mars, like Elon Musk presumes we will. But go make a change now. Support Team Seas and Team Trees. I do. Support uh, electric car companies. I do. Uh, support growing wildflowers. Have a nice garden like I do in the background. Go make a change. 